What's going on, everybody? You're watching New York Knicks Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. It is official. The Knicks made a move in NBA free agency. The New York Knicks and Leon Rose have signed Dante DiVincenzo, the big ragu, to a four-year, $50 million deal in NBA free agency. In today's video, we're going to break down everything you need to know about Dante DiVincenzo. And then in about 30 minutes, we are going live on the channel. So if you catch this as this video goes out, watch it, then join us for our live coverage of Dante DiVincenzo signing with the New York Knicks. It is official. Adrian Wojnarowski is reporting free agent guard Dante DiVincenzo is signing a four-year, $50 million contract with the New York Knicks. DiVincenzo reunites with Villanova title teammates Jalen Brunson and Josh Hart to bolster the Eastern Conference semifinalist roster. It has been a busy day for the New York Knicks. Earlier today, the Knicks, they traded Obi Toppin to the Indiana Pacers for two second round picks. We thought with Obi going out, it meant somebody was coming in. And we have been on the Dante DiVincenzo rumors for at least a month on this channel. We're going to break it all down. But first, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. No matter if we're at the house, no matter if we're at the studio, we're going to get you guys a video. I've been at work already today for about 14 hours. I went home to eat some dinner. DiVincenzo was signed, so we're doing a video, and I'm going to be heading back to the studio in just a second. Before we get rolling any further into today's show, though, I want to get all the real ones involved in the comment section right now. What is your one-word reaction to Dante DiVincenzo signing with the Knicks? Four years, $50 million deal, pretty much the entire by, uh, excuse me, non-taxpayer mid-level exception. That comes in at about $12.4 million per year. That is what his starting salary will be in year one. It'll be the span of four years. I'm going to recheck my stuff right here, see if we have any other details. Nope, it looks like a four-year, $50 million deal for DiVincenzo as he is going to the Knicks. Give me your one-word reaction down in the comment section. Mine is Nova. Villanova, the Nova Knicks, let's get it going. Josh Hart, Jalen Brunson, and Dante DiVincenzo. There were rumors earlier today that the Rockets could swoop in for DiVincenzo. We broke that down on the channel, but I said it in the video. Josh Hart opted into his contract, into his contract of $12.9 million. Josh Hart had that player option. He was expected to opt out and sign a four-year $72 million deal in NBA free agency, but he opted in. Why did he opt in? So the Knicks could have full rights of that non-taxpayer mid-level exception around $12.4 million without the New York Knicks having to dip their toe into the luxury tax. The only reason Josh Hart would do that is to help out the Knicks as well as help out a friend and a former teammate and a brother in Dante DiVincenzo, the big ragu. Dante DiVincenzo is going to join the New York Knicks. I'm a fan of this move. I've been talking about it for a while on this channel. I feel like for what the Knicks needed, which is shooting, another ball handler. While he's not a point guard, he can handle the ball. He can play make for others. He's a scrappy defender. He's going to get in the passing lanes. He can get out in the fast break. He's got sneaky bounce. He can finish at the rim. Not an elite finisher whatsoever, but he's a really good passer at a drives. Dante DiVincenzo is going to help the Knicks be a better team than they were last year. But the area that it's going to help improve the Knicks the most is on the margin. It's going to be very similar to that Josh Hart type of feel where they just are a better basketball team. More flashy? Probably not, but better. But the main reason that DiVincenzo is going to be such a huge addition for the New York Knicks is shooting. Last year for the Golden State Warriors, Dante DiVincenzo shot just under 40% from downtown, he knocked him down at an elite clip. The Knicks only had one player on this roster shoot above 40% from three, and that is Jalen Brunson. The Knicks needed another shooter from outside, and they get that in Dante DiVincenzo. Last year, 9.4 points per game, 4.4 rebounds, well, also three and a half assists. He can move the ball. <coughs> Excuse me. He had 36 starts for uh, the Warriors last year, I believe they were 16 and 10 
in the um, excuse me, uh, I thought they were sixteen and ten. I don't believe that is the record, so don't quote me on that. But I know they had a winning record with Divincenzo in the starting lineup. Like we said, though, thirty nine point seven percent from downtown, and not on a small amount, not on a small volume. 5.3 attempts from downtown per game. So he gets up his threes, he gets up a lot per night, and he knocks them down at an elite clip. DiVincenzo did turn down that $4.7 million player option from the Warriors, and he absolutely gets a bag from the New York Knicks. We thought that this was the range it was going to come in as the Knicks only really had that mid-level exception. We talked about earlier in the week that Bill Simmons predicted three for 30. It comes in at four for 50, so a little bit more than the projected salary. But overall, I'm a fan of this move. The Knicks got better today. I am sad Obi Toppin got traded, but they added a player in DiVincenzo who wanted to be here. He wanted to be here. And whatever the reason is, Obi Toppin didn't want to be here anymore. And while I'm not holding that against him, I'm going to hold it in a high regard that Dante DiVincenzo wanted to be here. I am hyped about it. I want you guys to grade the deal down in the comment section. I asked you guys to give me your one-word reaction. And I want to, I'm curious because the show is not all about me. It's not just about my voice and my thoughts and my opinion. I go through the comment section of every single video because Knicks fans are the smartest damn fans in the world. I'm curious what you think. So grade the deal of Dante DiVincenzo signing the Knicks four years, $50 million, A, B, C, D, or F. Let me get a grade down below. I'm giving it a B plus. A little bit of an overpay. I would have liked four for 45, four for 40, but it comes in at four for 50 and I'm not going to get upset about $10 million. Um, I give it a B plus. I'm happy. He's pro he's not going to start for this team. Your starting lineup will probably be the same unless the Knicks make more moves. But a backcourt off the bench of Emmanuel quickly, Dante DiVincenzo, with Josh Hart as your small forward stretch four now with no OB Toppin, and you got Isaiah Hartenstein. The Knicks are a gritty, grimy, just winning freaking basketball team. A lot of high basketball IQ players on this roster. And that's what I am looking for. More players that know how to play the game and win ball games. I said it back at the trade deadline when they traded for Josh Hart. I don't have a problem with adding any players from Villanova. Those dudes just know how to play ball. We are going to be going live on the channel in about 20 minutes. I'm about to walk into the office, about a 10-minute walk for me. We're going to get everything scheduled. So after you finish this video, close it out. Hit that thumbs up icon first. Leave a comment. We would appreciate it. Subscribe and join us as we go live and we party because Dante DiVincenzo, the big ragu, is with the New York Knicks. Love you guys. See you in a second on live. Let's freaking go.